primer gol de Johan Cruyff no podía ser de otro. What's up, YouTube? My name is Mario, and this is Football Histories, the channel where I talk about interesting facts about the beautiful game. This is episode two. On today's episode, we take a look at Manuel Francisco dos Santos, or better known as Garincha. Garincha was born on October 28, 1933, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He had many nicknames including Garincha, which means Ren, a small bird, Mane, which was short for Manuel, Alegria do Pavo, which meant people's joy, and Anjo de Piernas, Tortas, which meant bent-legged angel. Garincha was born in Pau Grande, which is a district of Maje in the state of Rio. Garincha's father was a heavy alcoholic, which Garincha inherited in his later years. The name Garincha was given to him by his sister for being smaller than most of the children his age. It stuck and eventually his whole family and friends would continue to call him this. Footballing scouts knew of Garincha, but he did not become professional until very late in his teens. Garincha did not have any interest in becoming a pro player. Did you know Garincha was already married and was a parent before signing for Botafogo in 1953? In his first training session, his extreme talent really showed. While he was dribbling the ball through the legs of his teammate's legs, Nilton Santos, who would eventually become his international teammate. Santos was so impressed that he campaigned for Garincha to be picked up by the national side. On July 19, 1953, Garincha scored an impressive hat-trick against Bon Successo, which was also his first team debut. Garincha continued to impress with his great skill with the ball, but unfortunately was not picked up by the national side right away. This was due to the difference in play which Brazil adopted a new European style centered on teamwork. Not only that, but Brazil was already stacked in this position, with Julinho already established on the side. Garincha was not picked up for the final squad to represent Brazil for the 1954 World Cup. Finally, Garincha was picked up for the 1958 World Cup due to his impressive run in 1957, helping Botafogo win the Campeonato Corazao and also scoring 20 goals in 26 games. After this, Garincha was a regular for the national side. Garincha played the majority of his career with Botafogo, playing a total of 581 matches and scored an impressive 232 goals, forever cementing his place as Botafogo legend. In 1966, Garincha's career declined and was eventually sold to Corinthians. After this, Garincha would bounce from club to club, playing for Colombian side Atletico Juniors, eventually going back to Brazil with Flamingo, finishing his playing time in Olaria before retiring in 1973. Did you know Garincha inspired the first bullfighting chance of Ole? due to his entertaining ways with dribbling the ball. Garincha was subject to big moves to European giants such as Juventus, Inter and AC Milan, all from Italy, and Real Madrid of Spain, which none of these moves ever did happen and Garincha would stay in Brazil. During his time with the national team, Garincha played 50 matches from 1955 to 1966 and scored 12 goals. Garincha would develop a lethal partnership with Pelé, and when they both played on the pitch together, Brazil never lost a match. Garincha had so much troubles off the pitch. He battled with alcohol, which hindered his play. He once ran over his own father and never stopped. He was eventually caught up by a mob chasing after him and found him so drunk that he could not remember what he had done. While in Sweden on tour with Botafogo, he got a local girl pregnant, at which point his wife was announcing their fifth child. His mistress was also announcing his first child with her. And despite his father dying of liver cancer because of his drinking problems, Garincha never stopped drinking. 
After all of these problems, including financial ones, Gorincha passed away of cirrhosis of the liver on January 20th, 1983 in an alcoholic coma. Before his death, in the previous year, he was in and out of the hospital so many times and was such a physical and mental wreck by the time of his death. Despite his demise, his procession at his funeral drew millions of fans in a march from the famous Maracana to Pau Grande. His fans painted on the walls, Obrigado Gorincha por vase ter vivido. Thank you Gorincha for having lived. Pele put it best, Gorincha was an incredible player, one of the best there has ever been. He could do things with the ball that no other player could. That was Garincha on Football Histories. My name is Mario. Thank you for watching another episode. 